The opinions expressed in the video you are about to see are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Captain Vince Daniello. This 246 Tritune features JC Manufacturing's Tritune hull for a smooth, stable ride, and with a 250 horsepower 4 liter Suzuki outboard, it's also got great performance. Our test boat topped out at over 43 miles per hour, thanks in part to the Tritune's unique hull shape with angled planing surfaces on the outer tubes. The wide center tube overlaps the other two to form one hull, making the Tritune handle more like a deck boat than a typical pontoon boat. Suzuki's new 4-liter V6 is now available in a 20-inch shaft length, ideal for performance pontoon boats like this 246 Tritune. This engine features Suzuki's variable intake valve timing, which allows more clean air into the engine to increase performance in the mid-RPM range, as well as a multi-stage air induction system that adds power at lower RPM. This 250 SS model also incorporates a brand new hydrodynamic lower unit to minimize drag and maximize speed and acceleration. Of course, it's not just about performance. The Tritune features lots of standard equipment like the GPS plotter, fish finder, Cirrus satellite radio. The gauges are all placed where they're easy to see right at eye level. And I really like the way the helm is cut away. It gives you great access to the glove box. This helm seat has a mesh back and bottom, which is comfortable, and it also breathes, so it's cool on a hot day. And the bolster is extra high, so you've got great visibility when docking or close quarters maneuvering. There's an option for ski or wakeboard storage underneath the sun pad, but this particular boat has what's called a changing room, which is also a great place to put a porta potty. JC Manufacturing also gives you the ability to customize the interior. For example, you can do away with this sun pad entirely and push the seat all the way back to the stern for a huge seating area back here. And this high low table is a nice feature. Another option would be to extend this seat all the way back and eliminate the starboard side boarding gate. And all of the end modules for the seating sections have got the ability to include various storage options. Here we've got a trash can, over on the other side a storage compartment. Just aft we've got a cooler, and this is handy, a place to store wakeboards underneath the deck. There's more storage underneath this seat back, and of course under all the seats throughout the boat, as well as these forward fiberglass pods. JC really tried to soften the lines on the Tritune and make it look less like a pontoon boat. One of the ways you see that is the way this seat back slopes down into this rounded fiberglass pod. They also rounded out the bow of the boat and they used a lot of stainless steel, including these two bow boarding gates. That look continues back here with another stainless steel boarding gate. The powder-coated rails slope down to the stern, and the Tritune includes not just stainless steel cleats, but also stainless steel corner caps. And this particular boat has the optional powder-coated and composite swim platform with four-step folding boarding ladder. This boat also has the optional stainless steel ski tow bar, and if you're into water sports, you're going to love this 250 horsepower Suzuki 4 liter V6 outboard. We got great performance out of this engine. In our tests, the 246 Tritune topped out at 43.3 miles per hour at 6100 RPM, with power to spare for wakeboarding or tubing. This combination also proved economical, reaching a peak 4.63 miles per gallon at 19 miles per hour and traveling over 229 miles between fuel stops. This 246 Tritune weighs 3,050 pounds, a little heavier than some pontoon boats because of the heavy gauge aluminum hull, but this extra weight is offset by the added planing surface of the Tritune asymmetrical outer pontoons. With its customizable interior, and loads of standard features, this 246 Tritune offers a lot in a pontoon boat. Above all, fun.